Okay, we might be working. Um, it's a totally different link because, yeah, Google sucks. So I'm going to give it a couple seconds here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's finally working. I was hoping I would get a... Um, I set it up on my PC and then it, it didn't translate over. So that's where we're at right now. So, okay, let's see. Why did that go away? Oh, because no one's talking. That's why. Okay, so we're going to give it a couple seconds to get going. But I got some big news. Super, super, super big news. Oh, wow. Exposure is crazy. Um, I'm going to Longcology. I'll be there Friday. And oh, boy, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. There's going to be vests and ranger panties. It's going to be a totally, totally great time. Um, Alan told me I can't wear anything until after 6 p.m. because he doesn't want to scare John Perry. So... Yeah, you'll have to wait till about 6.01. Okay, we're only at 7, but we're going to get going. And, wow, this is weird. First time I'm using this guy here. Okay, so today, man, I, I came across something, thanks to some friends over in the Discord, about a video talking about pre-emergence and, like, how to apply them and when to apply them and all that crap. Tonight, we're not talking about when to apply them because everyone should know that. It's right before, it's soil temperatures. When they warm up before the weed seeds germinate, that's when you want to put it down. But, you know, what was really failed to mention in that, um, what I saw today, and kind of, frankly, a, quite a few videos, not anyone that actually knows what they're talking about, though, is how to apply it. Ooh, let me figure this guy out there. Oh, there we go. Um, so, what I use here is this giant old jug. Of prodiamine it was like I don't know 60 bucks and it's gonna last me about 22 years and so that's a pretty good deal um, you know there's people granular stuff that's great if that's all you have access to go for it um, you know cost per application buying the big jug mixing it up and spraying it's a whole whole lot cheaper um, what disturbed me tonight was and it this kind of this eats at the heart of me um, as a good friend says we need to be stewards of the environment it is very very important we look after our environment not only because it's all we have but if we do not then what we use will be banned and so many excellent products have been banned due to misuse over application and just frankly, laziness and misinformation on parts of people that call themselves experts. And so with that, I want to say the first thing, if you are doing a liquid application, you know, a WDG like I do, of these pre-emergents, do not use this. This here is fantastic for, I don't know, RGS, because that's feeding and that's working and just building your roots it's great for area it's great for a ton of things what it's not great for is application rates that have to be dialed in to the gram to the thousands or hundred thousandths of a gram so do not use a hose and sprayer for your liquid applications holy cow and whatever you do don't put blue juice in it it's just going to ruin your driveway Make your yard, make your walls look good, though. I will tell you that. So, oh, oh, hey, get back over here, gimbal. Okay. So, with that, we said what not to use. Okay, now we're going to talk about application rates. So I ran some math because, oh boy, after my last video, you all know I love some math. So, with the main types of grass types that people deal with. Tall fescue being one of them because that's pushed by big fescue and they want, you know, they want that everywhere because you have to seed it every year. Um, but like Bermuda grass, Bihia, Centipede, St. Augustine, tall fescue, Zoysia grass. So on the Prodiamine label, it has an uh, application rate of 0.36 to 0.83 ounces per thousand square feet yearly. That's it. That's all you're to put down. So you can do one application of 0.83 for the year, or you can you can divvy that up to, you know, what is it? 
0.415 ounces and do it twice. You, however you want to break it down. If you want to do it four times, bam, divide it by four. But you do not go over that. And the big thing with using a hose end sprayer is it is super, super easy to over apply. You go buy a thing, Ironite. I did a whole bottle that covers 7,000 square feet. Granted, it's a super low rate of iron and a super, super low rate, not as low rate as some products that are on the market uh, soon of nitrogen, but still a very low rate. Um, and I dropped that whole bottle on the front yard. Boy, did it make the yard look great. But you know, it's, it's things like that to where you don't know the exact pressure coming out of your hose. It varies if your kid flushes the toilet, your wife turns on the dishwasher, the kids shooting a hose out of the backyard. That will vary, that will change your application rates, and that will lead to problems. So you want to use a calibrated sprayer, be it a hand can, a backpack sprayer, a push sprayer with a boom, whatever it is, a calibrated sprayer. If you want to learn how to calibrate those, you can go look at another video of mine because I tell you how to do it. So we're gonna, I have two examples here. Now, okay, so the 0.83 maximum, right? That was, you know, fescues, Bermuda, zoysia. Now, for you super cool season guys, um, you know, Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, the, the kind of people that like to put me in my place around Halloween, your rates are a little bit different. Now, let's see, let's look at those numbers because I wrote them down. It's actually 0.185 to 0.55 ounces per thousand square feet of a of maximum rate. So your maximum rate is 0.55 ounces. So to give you all a thing, I went ahead and I pre-measured some things out. I did it first with this little guy here. It measure, measures the hundred thousandth because you need that for certain tree killing elements. So this first thing I'm holding up here, this is 23.53 grams of prodiamine, which is 0.83 ounces. This is my maximum rate per thousand square feet. Look at that. I'm talking, it's, this is a two ounce. Yeah, and this, it's, it's nothing. Go into the 0.55, which is 15.592 grams for your Kentucky bluegrass and perennial rye. That's per thousand square feet. Like my yard, there'd just be five of these. That's nothing. And frankly, that is so, so easy to over apply using a hose end sprayer. So don't do it at all. Don't, don't do it at all. Okay, now I'm gonna stop for a second because I'm rambling and my throat's getting a little parched. And I'm gonna have to do a Marco Rubio. So first, can you all hear me okay? Yeah, no response, so they probably can't. Oh, did I say wives? Oh, sorry, sorry, man. I mean, you know where my company's headquartered. Cenobu's right, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't know what that means. Start, oh, Richard Nettles. What, oh, hold on, Dickens is, I don't know, Dickens sent me something via Instagram. I gotta figure out, why isn't this not, oh yeah, because YouTube doesn't have that and the DJI app did not like the uh, the following thing. Okay, so we, we, we went over, hold on, I need a drink. And let's get this going, okay. So we, w we went over the prodiamine. Now that's all I use. <sighs> Give me a minute, Toby. I have to get on top of the refrigerator for that. We, uh, we clean things up after New Year's, sort of. Um, so there, there's other herbicides, um, you know, Dithia Pure, I'm, I'm looking into that, but just the, the cost, eh, grant you buy little pouches, but trying to get an accurate measurement out of those, since those are, you know, just, you just toss the pouch in and stir it up. Um, we're not doing that, but like, so, oh, I'm not. No, I'm not, but no, I will say, I'm contemplating buying a bag. 
and I want to run it. I'm going to run it through a gamut of tests that would fit my yard. I would love to show you my yard right now, but it's dark outside. But you all can see several pictures. I posted one last night, in fact, um, of how great it looks in the summertime. Oh, that's well. That's easy. Carbon X. It gives me the new the nitrogen I need first of all because 0.044 pounds per thousand of nitrogen is oh I said carbon X oh wait that's two different people um holy crap this is messing up okay yeah you're, you're liking that um am i doing better than jake though is the question because I'll, I'll see you in a few weeks jake um so we talked to liquids granulars i'm actually probably not i stopped a little bit because my phone died um and then alan wouldn't leave me alone about watching some movie or something before i come down there um so i don't do granular pre-emergence frankly because as i talked about in the beginning and you can rewind because i turned that feature on um, it's cost effectiveness. I'm not going to buy an 80 pound bag of freaking barricade mixed with a bunch of other filler crap to spray over my yard with my push sprayer or, you know, my push spreader. Um, yeah, I know zero, zero weeds, but you know, ask, ask G man and he would have a completely different opinion on zero, zero weeds in his yard. Um, No, 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 it's not. Weeds are a sign of, you know, um, health, diversity, health, I'm talking. Mushrooms are a fantastic side. I'm not out there putting 46 pounds of Heritage G on my mushrooms to get rid of them. And I'm not putting things on there to kill my earthworms. Yeah, I have the little mounds. Yes, I mow it half an inch. And those things are a pain in the butt. However, when I see those mounds, I know my dirt is getting good. <laughs> he does. Um with that but so so i don't do granular because it's one i have the equipment to not do it and two it's it's not cost effective in the long run what i would pay on a bag of granular on amazon of 80 bucks which used to be 59.99 before this year trademark um is you know that that's my 20 year supply of prodiamine um Honestly, Gravy, I have no idea because you don't live on our planet after seeing your temperatures. You're, I, I think you're on one of freaking Jupiter's moons um, after your morning highs <laughs> with that. So I don't know. Ask Grass Factor that because, frankly, I, I don't know. Because, and, yeah, I don't do you have weeds up there? Um, no, so yeah, I don't do granular because it's, it's a waste of money, in, in my opinion. And I'm just, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, we got that going. Again, remember, don't use this at all. Never with pre-emergence or any other herbicide for that matter and, and frankly only really use it with stuff you know that's going to mix up where you're not having to go like this all the time um, because something that requires vigorous agitation needs to actually have a professional sprayer you're not seeing below the neck Gibson or you just want to see the toes and the feet I'm wearing boots right now Man, I, I had creeping red fescue in my last house down here, surprisingly, trying to get it to grow underneath my 14 maple trees in the backyard. No, Richard, I don't, uh, I, I don't know. Probably not after my impromptu oncology trip. Um, it, it all depends. Um, I did really, really good in the backyard, but what I am going to do in my front yard is, and I want to get some video of it after AT&T buried a fiber line, 0.033 inches under the ground um it's real dippy so i'm going to take a uh, 
aerator and then a verticutter and just go to freaking town on one section of the yard. Yeah, Thor's gonna like that. So I have my prediamine, so we put it down. So now what I'm gonna do, okay, so we talked the maximum rates. Here's my maximum rate for the year for my one fifth of my yard. I'm on Wi Fi, I hope. My kid is streaming um, unspeakable right now. I'm, I wish I could walk around some blocky pigs and get 40,000 views a minute. Um, with that, so I split mine up. I'm doing my first. No, John, where I do not know, but I can tell you something shipped from Knoxville, Tennessee to your house today. It'll be there in a couple days, all depending on U.S. Postal Service's, you know, rigorous ability to go through whatever's coming their way on Monday and Tuesday. Um, with that, so I, I split mine up. I'm going to do my first application here in a couple weeks. Yeah, I'm, I regret my Google Wi-Fi. Um, I regret it 1,000%. Yeah, it's super simple, but I don't need super simple. I need something more, com you know, complicated. So I split mine up. I'm going to do mine in about probably when I come back from Loncology. Um, I'm going to drop that down, and I, I don't know when I'll do my second one. Uh, you know why, Matt. You know exactly why. You remember that. First time I did one of these things in the front yard with all that. That's exactly why. Okay, so I'm going to try to walk backwards into my garage because that's the only way I can keep this thing stabilized, not using the app. And it's a mess, it's destroyed. I'm working on some super cool stuff. Maybe I can switch the camera around. Maybe not, I don't know, I haven't figured out how to do that. Or I'll just hold it this way. So what you wanna use, when spraying your prodiamine, and it doesn't have to be this one, though this one is abso absolutely fantastic. Yes, I have Yukon in the backyard and La Paloma and SR9554 in the front yard. No shed tour, it's too dark. It's, it's dark here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Right there. If you have one of these to spray with, super, super awesome. But if you don't, you can get by with a backpack or a hand can, whatever you need to get by with. But the, the most important thing is you will take those tiny, tiny little souffle cups. No, 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 I'm not putting apples in my freaking toilet. Um, but I, do, I did put a dual flush setup in a couple weeks ago. No, but you put in exactly how much down to the hundred thousandths of a gram that you need. And you already know how fast you have to walk and how everything sprays because you calibrated your sprayer. You're not relying on a dial made in China that may or may not vary a little bit um, and dependent solely on your water company's pressure. So, and that, that will give you one, it's, it's gonna give you a better coverage because you're not sure where you're spraying unless you're also supplementing it with the blue and Two, it's going to save you time because you're not dragging a hose around. You're not having to, you know, pull a hose out and drag it around. You just fill it up, go, and clean it. That's not a boiler. That's... No, no. We're in the set. Hold on. No, that's just... That's my AC, my furnace, and a water heater. And it's all gas because gas is now cheap. I said water heater, not hot water heater. Thoughts on PPE? Okay, hold on. Where did I put it? Let's see, where did it go? Come on. Golf shoes. If anyone knows how to get rid of uh, five gallons of floor glue, please let me know in the comments. Um, I've had it for several years and I don't know what to do with it. Okay, let's see. 
trying to figure out I don't know what I did with it but I have a hard hat floating around here somewhere um, that's enough PPE I'll probably wear that when I apply my pre-emergence because you can never be uh, you never know what's gonna happen out in the yard okay let's see here let's go to the live chat <laughs> that's actually a really good idea and uh, we have actually more apartment buildings getting built here than is should be allowed AV guy I'm not from the south though I'm from the northern south no my right no my ranger panties aren't in the garage they should be though no I'm not making super juice because frankly I polished my kitchen sink tonight with some stainless steel cleaner so I'm not doing that again because that crap was messy it was all fun and games until I had to clean it up. Kind of like the yard last year and all that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm from... Oh, geez. I'm from western New York down like... Uh, east of Jamestown. So it's um, it looks a lot like East Tennessee, just a little bit flatter. And a little bit more redneck. And a whole lot more poverty um, with that so that's why it's kind of like the northern south with that so okay so I have that Wow I didn't think this would only take 20 minutes and I was just more rambling and complaining with that so do we have any questions about how you how you should spray your prodiomy or any other liquid based herbicide I know there's questions in there well, let me scroll through to see if I have to moderate any comments and delete things because they're being mean or actually questioning my thought. No, no, just, you know, nope, nope. Well, man, everything's just been so nice today. Even the people that don't agree with me and they, and they get to stay. Okay, John, I used, um, I guess, an all around the XRC... One one zero zero fours. Um, with that, um, I need to figure out and reread the nozzle thread on the lawn forum because it's the greatest place of information about where you need to figure out what kind of nozzles you need outside of having direct lines of communication with Green Dock. Um, yeah, no, I don't. There's some air induction ones, I think. I don't know. I haven't put much thought into it since I did all that. I've been trying to repaint the McLean edger frame multiple times due to paint incompatibility issues. Um, don't use a Krylon, you know, plastic cover paint and then go over it with an enamel because it will turn it into a 15 year old kid's face. Craters everywhere. So John, do you have a recommendation on nozzles? I'm really giving solid info. That's 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 fantastic. Thank you, Greener Lawn. Okay, AI yeah, one one. Okay. I don't know. Should we? Hold on. Follow me, follow me, follow me. There we go. No, I'm not doing it. That microwave costs a lot of money. And um, I don't want to have my have to have my mom buy me another one because I don't pay for anything. Ooh, that's probably the toughest question I've ever had to ask. Answer. All three. No, long actually, no, even the stove pot, I'm talking, I have an electric stove, and so there's going to be variances due to electrical, electrical fluctuations in the grid, so I'm going to opt for a pressure cooker. I'm going to Instapot, you put it in for, I don't know, eight minutes at low pressure, and you're good. What did he say?
Connor, you're, you're just you're you're just mean. Hey, Connor, are you coming to Longology? Did you hear the news? Oh, grass factor is kind of right, but no, I would say Indian or chicken wings from home. That's about it. So, okay, so I went on my pre-emergent rant, and I'm going to reiterate again, because, you know, some people just skip to the end so they can hit that downvote button. Don't use this for your pre-emergence whatsoever. Um... Do use this. It's great. Um, don't use the YouTube app without being in the DJI app because it doesn't work right. Okay. So first, make sure you apply the proper amount. 0.83 ounces. Yes, smash that like button, pew, 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 ring the bell, ding-a-ling, ding, 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 and subscribe. And if you just, you know, yeah, do it. So yeah, make sure you use a super good scale so you get your right amounts. Don't just go based off of, oh, it's like, uh, it's about this. Just put in a quarter of a cup. You'll be good. Yeah, no, you measure that crap out so you know exactly what you're putting down. Because again, we have to be responsible. And that's, this is what I'm closing with is, I ran it, I joked around, I did a good old fashioned bashing. <laughs> His T jet does have mass. And you don't have to, Connor, because you're like forty thousand your your altitude is higher if gravy lookouts low temperatures were actually not negative, you're still higher than that. So that that made no sense, whatever. So, you know, in all seriousness though is be responsible with what you put down, be it granular, liquid, anything you do. Do not over apply. Use the proper tools for the material material you are applying. So one, you're not violating the label. The label's there for a reason. It's not just the government saying no. I'm not actually that bad. No, but is what you have to do, just be responsible, follow the label, don't put down more than you're supposed to. Do it properly. Do it right. And then everyone can have a good time. Because if you don't, the fun time ends when the government comes knocking on your door and says, we can't use this anymore due to some dimwits over applying with the improper tools. Yes, I am good to go. And with that, I'm going to be in the Discord here in a couple minutes after I unrig this thing from the gimbal and see how that goes. And I'm out of here 30 minutes early because it's Friday night and yeah, it's Friday night and I have something else to do. So with that, you guys have a freaking fantastic one. Remember, subscribe because you want to, you need to, and then get over to the Discord. I don't have things here because I'm not editing the videos. Um, so I don't know how to put that in there, but you know, if you want to talk to me, bam, feel free to reach out. If you want to meet me and see the Ranger panties in person, I will be at Longology. Woo! And it's going to be a super, super good time. Y'all have a freaking fantastic evening, and I will see you soon.